Hi friends, this is Dina and welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are setting up my August bullet journal theme and I'm very excited to show it to you because August is always a special month for me bullet journal wise. It is my bullet journaling anniversary since I started bullet journaling in August 2019 and I've usually always celebrated that by having a theme that is a recreation from my first ever theme but this time I decided to celebrate it in a different way because I just felt like that idea didn't suit me anymore and my style of bullet journaling so I wanted to instead just move on and do something that felt better at this point. I'm gonna be using gouache for this one. I haven't used them in a little while, so I'm excited to go back. And I'm gonna be starting with my cover page as always. And this time I'm actually making a full spread cover, which is something I haven't done in a very long time. As you can see here, we have this kind of oval shape that I'm taping down and like making the edge so I don't paint over that. I've already also got a little Dutch door on the right side. So you can see how that looks later when the whole painting is done. So for this August theme, I ended up going with something kind of personal and very meaningful to me. If you have seen one of my recent videos where I started my new sketchbook, I painted some Finnish summer inspired paintings and I really loved that. So I kind of wanted to continue that with this theme. So I ended up painting a picture of a scene from my parents' um, backyard that I've seen so many times in my life. It is basically my hometown and just holds these special memories for me. So I thought that, you know, August is always this month of new beginnings to me, it feels like. It's kind of this in-between month between summer and autumn, at least in here. It is still a very summery month, but you can already start to smell the autumn in the air and the colder misty air of fall and September so I just wanted to kind of celebrate that with a sunset theme that I think perfectly fits the idea of summer ending because these beautiful summery sunsets are kind of ending in August and yeah I feel like before when I was like much younger and I went to school on you know the first grades I remember how August always felt a little bittersweet because it was nice to go to school and meet new friends but at the same time it always marked the end of summer and summer vacation and I remember especially always sitting on the bus stop waiting for the bus to take me to school and I remember being there very early and just having this misty air and just being able to smell the upcoming autumn and I don't know, this just very much reminded me of that even though this theme is very much still summery and beautiful and warm and orangey but I feel like that perfectly encapsulated the feel that I have for August. I think that was a very long thing that I just said but yeah I really just enjoyed painting something that was very meaningful and a scene that I've seen so many times in my life like I did with those sketchbook paintings that I did in one of my recent videos. So yeah as you can see I'm making this gradient here for the sky first from this kind of blue shade to this orangey almost red tone in the bottom of the sky. As many of you know I struggle with gradients very much so I tried to approach them in a way that would not feel like too intimidating. So it was kind of easier for me to paint in this spread where you can see where I leave those spots white in the spread and I will glue something on top. You know, I didn't have to make these huge long washes of color and make the gradients perfect. I just kind of had these um, smaller sections inside the spread, if that makes any sense. So I didn't have to, you know, perfect it in a very big scale, which made it much easier for me. And then I was also making the reflection of the sky into the water. So I pretty much used the same colors that I just used and tried to make another gradient for the water here. I'm not very experienced with painting water, but this definitely felt super relaxing. And I tried to, across this whole theme, I tried to, you know, relieve some pressure off of creating. And, you know, I think I managed to do that pretty well. And I did not, even though I made some mistakes and, and things that I necessarily wouldn't <laughs> like to add there if I you know could fix mistakes easily I didn't really care about them that much and I felt like yeah it was less intimidating this way and I'm really happy with how this whole theme turned out here I'm starting to make this kind of almost like a silhouette of a it's not an island here it is basically the um 
I don't know, yard of our neighbors that have this kind of uh, long piece of ground that kind of goes to the water if you look at it from this direction. So I was just painting that and yeah, it was fun to, you know, work with the reflections and the little lines in the water and the little ripples. It was super nice and I don't know, it just felt really relaxing painting this scene because I've seen it so many times. I think I've even had this picture that I used as a reference for this painting as my like phone wallpaper at some point. So yeah, it just feels really, really familiar and nice and I really love it. Finnish summers are absolutely stunning and beautiful, especially with when you have some water or you have the sea or a lake and they always look so beautiful and, you know, dreamy and just stunning. So, yeah. So we have tons of rocks here in the front of this painting as well. I actually had so much fun painting them. I was just like adding different kind of shades of gray and a little bit of some browns and greens as well and maybe some yellows too just to kind of make this fun little, I don't know, sea of rocks and it just was super fun and satisfying to add all those colors in. You know, if you made a little bit of a mistake or some details you added were not perfect, it didn't really matter because there was so much happening in this area of the painting that you couldn't really see any of those little mistakes. If you're wondering what this layout is all about, I tried to find a fun way to make my cover page without repeating myself so much because I know that in my recent themes I've kind of done the same exact thing. I've tried to always find some new fun layouts but I've mostly done the same with having the illustration on the right side and then having a small calendar with a rectangle, you know, cardboard piece on the left side and it has kind of been the same every month so I wanted to find a layout that would, you know, bring something unique unique to my bullet journal after a little while of doing the same and I actually had a lot of fun just like brainstorming and coming up with layouts and I'm really happy that I found this one that I ended up using. If you have seen my channel plan with me you know that this is kind of similar as I did then but for that I didn't include the calendar in this spread. I included in the Dutch door on the other spread but I decided to do it this way and I actually really like how the calendar looks together with the painting and it kind of just divides the spread in two. So yeah, it was really fun and interesting to work on a painting and a layout that looks a little bit unique and different for me. In this whole setup process, the cover page definitely took me the longest. It wasn't like a ridiculously long painting process, but I made all of my other spreads much more simple and the cover page was definitely the most time consuming and it was the you know most detailed out of all of them. And I'm pretty happy with how I did that because it was fun to focus on this spread and just kind of spend a couple of hours painting it and then just making my other ones much more simple and less um, time consuming, I guess. Yes. By the way, all of my used products are, as always, listed in the description of this video. For this one, I was using gouache paints from Royal Talents, and my notebook is a beautiful notebook from Mellow Days. It is a watercolor dotted notebook that has 160 GSM. I really love this notebook, and I have my 10% off discount code for Mellow Days in the description as well if you want to check that out. As the last detail, I added a couple of birds flying on the right side of the spread. I think they kind of perfectly uh, brought this whole painting together. And after some last minor tweaking, I actually flipped to the next page to add in a colorful paper. I would not normally work on things on this order, but I decided to do it this way because you can see this um, side of the Dutch door from the cover page. So I kind of wanted to choose a color for this so I could work on the other details and, you know, it would come together a little bit more before I start adding the final details. So yeah, I added that kind of light graphic paper there. I'm not sure if it was the best paper option but I kind of struggled with it so I went with this one and then for the calendar I chose this light beige color and my pet peeve with bullet journaling is having Dutch doors and something peeking from underneath. So I actually really tried to measure this calendar so nothing would show through to the other side and I'm happy that I managed to do that. Um, as you can see when I flip that page to the other side you can see nothing from this side which is just great because I don't know that just bothers me personally on my own bullet journal. I don't really care about how others <laughs> bullet journals look but I just wanted to do that and you know spend some time just kind of uh, figuring out a layout that would work for a spread like this. 
As you can see, I was just stamping the days of the week on top of this small calendar and then um, I made a grid and then I wrote the dates on top of that. It's a very, very simple calendar and it's also much smaller than my usual calendars, but I just thought that maybe I don't have that much to write this month so I can do this without problem. And then for the oval shape on the right side, I actually had a different idea for a font at first, but I just noticed that those larger letters would not maybe really work with this kind of minimalistic layout. So I ended up complementing that with a minimalistic stamped header, which is kind of boring. I know I am very unoriginal with my fonts, but I just decided to go with it because I just felt like it fit to this spread much better and it just kind of brought it all together. But yeah, that is my cover page i'm adding one more detail a little bit later but that is it for now i really love how it turned out and i had a lot of fun painting it as well and then we are flipping to the next page which is going to be my habit tracker and my playlist spread i actually really really struggled with the spread because i had that craft paper background here and i wanted to bring some warmth and some of the colors from the previous page but i didn't really know how i ended up going with this kind of peachy toned colorful paper underneath my habit tracker mini calendars but i felt like in the end that didn't really do its job that you know it was intended to bring to the spread i feel like it just was a little bit too light and it kind of like blended to the whites more than i would have wanted so i don't know i am not the happiest with the spread but at the same time i think that when i fully get it done it will be much better then I stamped the word trackers onto the left side on that kind of oval shape that I had for my cover page. You know, I didn't do anything that special with the spread. I thought that the colors that you can see from the cover page painting kind of bring everything together, but I don't know, maybe we'll see. I also first just wrote the headers for my mini calendar on my habit trackers with this white gel pen, but I didn't really like how it turned out, so I ended up just covering that and adding these white little header boxes there instead and just wrote them on top with a fine liner. By the way, since we are painting sunsets in this theme, I wanted to remind you that I just a little while ago uploaded this sunset cloud painting tutorial in my channel. So if you want to learn how to paint sunset and especially sunset clouds, definitely go check that out in my channel and maybe recreate it for yourself. Then on the right side I have my playlist spread and I was thinking about doing something very fun and interesting but I really couldn't come up with anything that fun so I just glued these beige colored rectangles down onto the paper and uh, I'm gonna be writing my songs later. I actually filmed this setup back in June so I don't know what my songs for August will be yet and I feel like when I add them the spread will look like it will come together a little bit more because it just looks kind of empty now. So so maybe that will help. And then as a last thing, I cut this uh, long strip of the peachy toned paper and added it to the right side. So when you're looking at the cover page, you can actually see that color peeking from underneath. I just thought that that looked really pretty and brought some more color to the cover page as well. But now we are working on my content planning spread and all of my spreads this month are Dutch doors. So here we have my content planning spread on one and then I'm going to be adding my goals on the other page as well. For this one, I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting than you know I've done in some of my other content planning spreads lately. I feel like they have been pretty boring and empty. <laughs> so I wanted to paint the edges for the whole spread, but I don't know if that really made it any more interesting interesting. I feel like the color that I chose, I wanted to go for those kind of um, sunset type of warm colors, so I just went with this orange tone, but I felt like when I added it to the paper, it just kind of looked very neon, so I don't know if that was the best choice, but you know, we went with it and it's there now, so <laughs> yeah, kind of change it now. Then I added that same calendar rectangle onto the right page. I basically did everything the same exact way that I usually do with my content planners other than the painted edge. I just added my weekly task lists and dates and days of the week and then the content planning section on the left side. You know, nothing really that interesting or exciting. I just did the same thing as I always do because it works for me so I don't really see a reason for changing it to anything other than that. But yeah, 
yeah, like I mentioned, I filmed this video back in June. It was actually the last day of June, so it wasn't like that early or anything. But I have actually filmed all of these videos that you will see in this month or you have seen this month a little bit earlier than normally. We are actually right now, when you see this video, we are on a trip to Switzerland and Italy. Um, if you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see some beautiful pictures and I don't know. If you want to hear about things that we have done um i will be posting them to my stories and yeah i just wanted to be done with some videos in advance so i could provide you with some content even though i'm away and i actually have had a lot of fun just like working on these videos in advance and just like editing a lot i have generally enjoyed it more now that i've done that more so yeah <laughs> But after my content planning spread was done, we are going to my last spread that I'm going to be creating in this video. We are again skipping the goals page or the other page after that. Of course, when I was making this, it was very far from August. So I thought that maybe I can come up with something I want to add to this page a little bit closer to August. So I just left it blank for now. Again, I'm doing my Dutch door weeklies here. I have done Dutch door weeklies for the longest time now, and it's just my preferred life out and I really really enjoy using them so I did it this time too. It felt like I was going back to my roots a little bit or at least back to my roots with these Dutch store um, weekly spreads because when I started making them I think back in November last year I kind of always made these like rectangular paintings to my weekly so it just kind of felt really familiar. So yeah I just taped this area on the bottom left side of the spread and I painted another sunset painting here. It's very much inspired by my hometown again, but it's not from a place that I know. Like I just came up with this composition myself and just painted it without really thinking about it much. It was a very simple painting. It didn't take me long, so I didn't really feel like perfecting anything or, you know, thinking about anything too much <laughs> with this one. It was just a fun little fast thing. With it, I also ended up doing the same thing that I always do when my gradients don't turn out that good. I always add tons of clouds. Here, I didn't feel like adding too many because I really didn't care that much about how it looked, but I ended up adding something on the top and also on the orange part of the sky a little bit. So yeah a really really simple little thing that I enjoyed making but I feel like this whole theme was kind of rushed in a way um not in the same way as last month's theme because if you remember and if you saw my plan with me video from last month I was kind of very negative about my whole theme because what I expected to make that month and the reality were so far from each other that I was very disappointed in what I created and I also just was struggling with the process and I was you know know stressed out and everything was happening at the same time so it wasn't the most enjoyable experience I would say but with this one I didn't necessarily need to rush I wasn't in a huge rush or anything I was just making this um you know one day and I got my cover page done and I was like well maybe I could do the other spreads as well like at least a little bit and then I started kind of speed running through them and I finished them all in one day which is not always the best mindset because it's nice to make things fast and you know be done and move on to another project but I just felt like maybe the idea of wanting to finish everything in one day just kind of led me to um, make spreads that are not in the same kind of level that I would have done if I had more time with them not that they are bad because I didn't spend enough time on them you know I just don't have the attachment to all the spreads because I noticed that instead of having fun with my spreads and making them beautiful I was kind of focused focusing on I want to film this video fast which is something that happens to me quite often honestly when making videos I have definitely enjoyed making videos lately and I actually love it a lot but it's still kind of like a hard balance to find sometimes when you kind of focus more on the filming part and not the creating part but anyway I like that doesn't mean that I hate this <laughs> this theme or dislike it in any way I actually like it a lot and I'm again happy that I chose something that was a little bit more meaningful to me and I'm very excited to start using this and I don't know it was fun to do things that I haven't done in a long time and using gouache and using layouts that I haven't used in a while and things like that so I really did enjoy it but that's just like the reality of it sometimes 
But with that, the painting in the spread is now done and I'm gonna be making all the other elements. Here on the uh, right edge of the whole spread, I'm gluing in some of that lighter beige colored paper and onto the Dutch door and the edges of the tabs, I'm adding the peachy toned paper. Here I'm just, um, you know, gluing them on very roughly and then later when I've attached all of them, I'm um, cutting them more precisely, of course. I'm also adding that same paper to the other sides of the tabs. So when you flip the page to the other side, you can still see that peachy toned paper on the tabs as well. It's just something that I like doing to decorate the page in a fun way without really having to paint all that much. And I really like that. And onto the bottom of the spread, I also added the header for the month and a mini calendar and a place for notes and random thoughts. I have to say, I've been very confused about the months now that I filmed this video so early. I feel like I wanted to write July every time that I was making some sort of title in this whole <laughs> setup process. And I remember that I was feeling like it was already August when it was July because I just had created this so early. So I don't know, that definitely definitely made me confused. But after I made my task list on the first Dutch door, this is pretty much done. I also, as a last thing, I added the weekly numbers onto the tabs and um, I will add the task list to all of my other Dutch doors later when we are a little bit closer to that. But yeah, that is it for this theme. And before I go, let's quickly flip through all of the pages that I made in this video. But that is it for my sunset August theme. And I'm really happy that I ended up going with this one instead of going for the, um, you know, tradition of painting houseplants for August. That would have probably been a lot of fun too, but I'm happy that I listened to what I actually wanted to do. It was so much fun and I really hope you enjoyed seeing me set up these pages. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up and leave a sun emoji down in the comments so I know you watched until the end. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!